this is the um, F2060 millimeter uh, 1200 focal length um, refractor telescope uh, is equal to RS61D uh, famous multiple refractor is a very mm, uh, long refractor with a focal ratio of 20 F-20 that makes it planetary really planet to the uh, telescope in a sense the lens has these uh, spacers originals outside is a bit dusty so it needs to be cleaned probably has not been used for a long time the external diameter of the tube is 7 mm. I used uh, uh, the ring, tube rings, and the dovetail mount for the Skowatch uh, ED72 upper chromatic telescope with a um, adopted um, mouse pad, uh, foamy one, and just it fits like that. Um, it, as you can see, this is a serial number. C diameter 60 mm F 1226347 is a serial number. There's a lovely 6 times uh, 3 cm uh, finder scope. Unlike many of the telescope those time it has a, a screw for holding the diagonal and also I use this uh, diagonal which has a screw so on it diagonal itself needs cleaning I'm using this 40 millimeter uh, uh, asymmetric Huygens Japanese eyepiece with this Usually there is no chromatic aberration, but it just when I'm looking at this, I just see very clear image. At the same time, I realize that many of the modern telescopes that we have how nice they are compared to what was considered the best. Classic telescopes are like this. Wow, on the Jupiter it shines. You can see the two cloud belts and uh, a little bit more details in the north and south. Uh, it's just tempting to go and bring more. I said this is 15 millimeters, so I have to bring another one, probably. Okay, I'm now using the Huygens one 12 and a half millimeter, and just immediately with magnified. I don't see any more details. Now I'm using a Bertelli six millimeter, which is equal almost to a Nagler in a way. Um, but it's a Japanese uh, style 0 0.96 inch um, the image deteriorates you don't see any more detail two bands that's it and I can say that the um, optimum in this condition at this time that I'm using with my eye for this refractor is uh, 15 millimeter on the Jupiter is of course chromatic aberration for you. I didn't see any false color, anything. Um, probably this is not a strong point for this. Probably it is better for doing the double star splitting. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, the thing is that classic telescopes are what they are, classic. Modern telescopes, even the weakest of them, are really superior to in many ways to them. And uh, I think that the many hype and many talk about the classic telescope is really good, no matter what they are. I believe it's just by the few collectors uh, who are trying to keep up the price of their equipment uh, for resale value. Uh, I don't see any other merit to a modern telescope made in China uh, over something uh, like these classic telescopes. They had their time, they were good for a time, maybe people have good memories of them and uh, childhood memories especially, 
but now the days are past, we have better equipment. I will try this telescope next time with the modern eyepieces just to see what difference they make the modern eyepieces like plus all and other things I have to use adapter I will try it on display sky objects also just to see how it is maybe it gets better actually.